for this time of prayer. I have a few things to share with you. But if you have prayer intentions besides those that you've mentioned here on the Facebook page that you want to send to me and our team and have us remember those or maybe even send you mass cards, uh, we uh, invite you to go to prayerintentions.org. Now, we actually have a, a number of different prayer sites. Prayerintentions.org is where we can receive from you any time of the day or night uh, the prayer intentions that you want us to remember. And we remember them not only while we're praying during these holy hours that we have here on Facebook, but also in our daily masses, the prayers and good works of our Priests for Life team and, uh, and staff. So prayerintentions.org. And then we have two other prayer websites that I want you to be aware of. Mark them down, bookmark them on your, your web browser, save them in your, in your phone. One is prayercampaign.org. And what prayercampaign.org does is it takes various pro-life prayers and puts them on the calendar so that we have various novenas at different times of the year and whether it's different liturgical seasons or getting ready for certain feast days. We just had the novena that led up to the Feast of the Assumption. We're going to have another novena leading up to the Feast of, of uh, St. Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa. And, uh, and then, of course, we have uh, special prayers that pertain to things that are going on. So we have right now the election prayer uh, novena going on. We have the prayer for the uh, process of confirming a Supreme Court justice. So prayercampaign.org will show you those, those uh, special times and prayer campaigns of various points during the year. And then thirdly, prolifeprayers.org. Prolifeprayers.org contains various prayers for all occasions. If you pray in front of abortion facilities, for example, and of course, uh, in a few weeks, the next uh, 40 days campaign will begin. This booklet in the palm of his hand is a, a pro-life prayer booklet that I, I wrote. And uh, before we finish tonight, I want to say a, a litany uh, in response to abortion that is found in this book. But all the prayers in this book, which, by the way, we are happy to send uh, to you, can be found also online at prolifeprayers.org. And so three prayer websites, prayerintentions.org, tell us what you want us to pray for, uh, prayercampaign.org, take part in the various novenas, and prolifeprayers.org, prolife prayers for all occasions, which you can also get in this booklet. And if you want to order this booklet and many other pro-life products, go to prolifeproducts.org. We have so many different pro-life websites, prolifeproducts.org. Well, aren't we in intense times right now? There is so much intense stuff going on. We're in the middle of the election campaign, and we are in the middle of the Supreme Court confirmation process, and of course we are in the middle of this uh, terrible wave of anger and sadness going on over the clergy abuse scandals that have been brought to light. Friends, we've got to be able to deal with these things together, together. And so let me tell you a couple of things that we're going to do over the coming uh, evenings as we have this uh, Facebook Live time uh, every, every evening. First of all, we are going to, tomorrow night, have an election webcast. And uh, you can sign up for it at electionwebcast.org. But an election webcast at this very hour, so from 9 to 10 p.m., it'll be an hour-long online seminar to help get you ready to play an active role in the elections, in the midterm elections, to be electing more and more pro-life candidates. We're going to show you how to do it, how to influence other voters. We're going to give you some tools. Many of you have been in on our webcasts in the past. But of course, with every election webcast, we'll have more updates to give you. So even if you took part in one in the past, sure, some of the material will be uh, similar. We'll be talking about electionprayer.com. We'll be talking about the party comparison uh, piece, uh, the flyer that shows the, the differences between the positions of the Republican and Democratic parties. But there'll also be new things. 
because we'll be giving you updates about how the race is going, how the midterm elections are shaping up, what we might expect, what are some of the things that are being said, what are some of the things that we need to be saying to our fellow citizens. So tune in tomorrow night at this time for the election webcast. You can sign up for the webcast, uh, or if you simply tune in here, right on this uh, Facebook page, you'll see it and hear it. Then, in terms of, uh, well, that will include, by the way, of course, some commentary on how the Supreme Court confirmation process is going for uh, Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Now, at the same time, we're dealing with this uh, uh, clergy abuse uh, scandal within the church, and so we're going to say some prayers of reparation. We know that sins are committed, and it's, it's horrible, and we're rightly uh, angered at it, and we want change. We want reform. We want clear talking. Uh, going on. We want to name the problem for what it is. And, uh, but prayers of reparation are needed, aren't they? Uh, reparation for the sins of the world. Reparation for the sins of the clergy. Uh, reparation is so needed. And so we're going to take actually four evenings of prayer starting the day after tomorrow. So Wednesday night, right here, same time, 9 o'clock p.m. I'm going to pray with you live. We're going to do the rosary the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, I'll share a little scripture with you. I wrote a special prayer of reparation. I want you to join me and get others to join me too. Because people are, are they're, they're, they're angry, they're worried, they're concerned, they're disappointed. All these different emotions and, and reactions. Uh, and we've got, to, we've got to channel that energy, first and foremost, into prayer. Uh, and uh, we'll do that with you uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Four nights, prayers of reparation starting here at 9 o'clock. So, friends, let me, uh, before I pray uh, with you, I want to pray a special litany uh, from this prayer book. Let me now give you my uh, daily diary segment for uh, this day, Monday, August the 20th. It was a day here in my Priest for Life office once again. I, you know, I tend to get up by 5.30, sometimes 5 o'clock, uh, sometimes even earlier, especially if I have to, to travel uh, somewhere early. But usually I'm up at my desk by about 5.30 and uh, was uh, this morning. I find, as I'm sure many of you do who are early risers, very productive time in those first few hours of the day, uh, writing, um, planning, thinking about uh, what has to be uh, done in the, during the day and then the days ahead, uh, strategizing. I, I have to write a lot of strategic memos and emails to different people. So I use that, that early time. Usually my staff people start getting here around 7, well, 7.15, 7.30 at the latest. We have uh, uh, the first people coming in here to the office. I have a 7.30 morning uh, meeting. Uh, today I had it with uh, two of our key people planning out the, uh, the day. And we have here this week, and a lot of the meetings today had to do with our, our video uh, team. We have Kurt, our videographer, is here from uh, New Jersey, and uh, he's responsible for, uh, together with some of our staff that are here in Florida, John, for example, uh, and, and uh, Rob and, and others, responsible for this TV studio. So we had some, some important steps forward today, as a matter of fact, uh, we're talking now through our professional cameras here in the studio uh, rather than simply through the iPhone and hopefully you can notice a uh, an improvement in the audio and the video uh, if you've been watching us every night you'll be able to see the the improvement but we had some important meetings today in terms of, of strategies moving forward and plans we have got an incredible library of video I'm talking about interviews with with key people in the pro-life effort over the years, like Dr. Bernard Nathanson and Norma McCorvey, uh, whom I received into the church, and uh, other key leaders and testimonies and pro-life events and, and, and all, all these kinds of video programming that has been put together over the years, over the decades. And we had a, a, an important meeting today in terms of 
next steps as to how we can redeploy a lot of that material. You know, we have a lot of new people in the pro-life movement, a lot of young people. Are we always saying to young people we, that you, you need to learn the history of the movement? And so we were talking today and plan, made some plans and some decisions about taking all that video content and how to better deploy it so that people like you and your children and grandchildren and uh, nieces and nephews and youth groups and everybody can see it and be inspired and be instructed on how to take action for the unborn. And we had other meetings regarding audio content, and you may have seen the announcements here on Facebook that we have started, together with endabortion.tv, uh, through which this is being broadcast right now, endabortion.tv, now we have the End Abortion Podcast. And, and I don't know how many of you follow podcasting, but we make it available now on iTunes and, and various other platforms, uh, Google Podcasts and, and TuneIn and various different platforms that, that take this audio content, these podcasts, and get them out there. So we have now the End Abortion Podcast. You'll actually be able to find it on iTunes, and we're getting the message out that way. Now, we have, again, loads and loads of audio content from the talks that I have given all around the country, many of your own churches and communities, pro-life banquets. You know that I've been there and continue to be there. I was just in Michigan the other night. And, uh, you know, these events, I always tape my talks so that we can get them to even wider audiences later on. So today, lots of meetings in regard to all of this. Important decisions were made uh, moving forward. Uh, I also uh, did some important communications today with our, our um, contacts in Rome and the offices in the Vatican, uh, where we are in regular communication to help advance the pro-life mission of the church was in touch with a lot of other uh, pro-life leaders, as I, as I usually am every day. Uh, and uh, then, of course, uh, plans for the, uh, for the rest of the week and more meetings that are going to take place with the people who are here. Besides Kurt being here, our main videographer, we also have uh, Sam here this week, who is our overall website uh, developer. And so we're having meetings with them together with the social media department that we have really a lot of good things going on. So I was at my desk from 5.30 this morning until just before I came here to talk to you tonight. And uh, it's, a, um, uh, it, 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 it's, it's so exciting because, you know, as the day goes on, it, it, it tends to get even more exciting as we see the progress and the opportunities God gives us to advance all these pro-life works. So we're grateful for uh, you being part of this work and for following us. And that is the Daily Diary for today, August the 20th. Now, I mentioned this prayer book, In the Palm of His Hand, and I want to share with you as we conclude here tonight a litany. It's called the Litany in Response to Abortion. And uh, this litany I wrote uh, years and years ago and often pray it in front of abortion facilities and I'd like to pray it with you now because you'll see as we go through it that it covers so many different aspects of what we need to pray about when we pray to end abortion. Many different aspects of this. And uh, there are, um, uh, this, is, this is modeled on a lot of the Catholic litanies that uh, you may be used to uh, praying and hearing. So let's pray this together and uh, be inspired to be part of this pro-life movement and be, be, be filled with gratitude for the fact that we are. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father, creator of the world, have mercy on us. God the Son, through whom all things were made, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, Lord and giver of life, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, the beginning and the end, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, the resurrection and the life, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, eternal word of life, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, living in the womb of the Virgin Mary, 
have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, lover of the poor and the weak, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, defender of the helpless, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, bread of life, have mercy on us. For every sin against life, have mercy on us. For the sin of abortion, have mercy on us. For the daily killing of innocent babies, have mercy on us. For the bloodshed throughout our land, have mercy on us. For the silent screams of your children, have mercy on us. For the killing of your future disciples, have mercy on us. For the exploitation of women by abortion, have mercy on us. For the silence of your people, have mercy on us. For the apathy of your people, have mercy on us. For the cooperation of your people in this tragedy, have mercy on us. For our preborn brothers and sisters killed by abortion, Lord, hear our prayer. For our preborn brothers and sisters threatened by abortion, Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who have survived abortion, Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers who have had abortions, Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers tempted to have abortions, Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers pressured to have abortions, Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers who have refused to have abortions, Lord, hear our prayer. For the fathers of aborted babies, Lord, hear our prayer. For the families of aborted babies, Lord, hear our prayer. For the families of those tempted to have abortions, Lord, hear our prayer. For abortionists, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who assist and cooperate in abortions, Lord, hear our prayer. For doctors and nurses, that they may nurture life, Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, that they may defend life, Lord, hear our prayer. For the clergy, that they may speak up for life, Lord, hear our prayer. For the pro-life movement, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who speak, write, and work to end abortion, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who help provide alternatives to abortion, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who promote adoption, Lord, hear our prayer. For national and local pro-life groups, Lord, hear our prayer. For unity in the pro-life movement, Lord, hear our prayer. For courage and perseverance in pro-life work, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer ridicule and rejection for their stand for life, Lord, hear our prayer. For those imprisoned for defending life, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been injured and mistreated for defending life, Lord, hear our prayer. For legal professionals, courts, and judges, Lord, hear our prayer. For police officers, Lord, hear our prayer. For educators and media professionals, Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the babies saved from abortion, Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the mothers saved and healed from abortion, Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the former abortion providers who have become pro-life, Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for all those who take a stand against abortion, Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the call to be part of the pro-life movement, Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you have created all things through your Son, Jesus Christ. He trampled the power of death by his paschal mystery. May all who acknowledge you promote the sacredness of life and always serve you faithfully. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So once again, the book is in the palm of his hand, and you can get it at prolifeproducts.org. You'll find a lot of other great stuff there dealing with the pro-life movement. Prolifeproducts.org. And friends, if you can assist us with your financial help, that's prolifedonation.org. Prolifedonation.org. We rely only on people like you for the financial sustenance of this entire ministry. And so we really could use your help, especially given 
all those intense things that are happening right now. And again, as a reminder, tomorrow night, join me at this time for the Vote for Life training webcast, the election webcast, right here on this Facebook page, starting at 9 o'clock. And then the rest of the week, Wednesday through Saturday, again at 9 p.m., we're going to have prayers of reparation for the clergy abuse scandal in the church. Friends, thank you so much for all that you do for the pro-life movement, for all your support of, of us at Priests for Life. And now may the Lord bless you and your families and all your intentions in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll be back tomorrow. Looking forward to join you then. God bless you. This is Father Frank Pavone of Priests for Life.